delicious candy bar that gives you four wonderful taste treats in one wonderful bar, Powerhouse presents the Rudy Kazooty Clock. Yes, sir, Rudy. Very fun. 
sure was a contrary pup. <laughs> One day, a good fairy visited Fairy Pup. Fairy Pup said the good fairy, I built a special house for you. It's an upside down house, and you love it. See? <laughs> oh, Fairy Pup was very pleased. An upside down house was just what a contrary pup would like. Well, no sooner had Fairy Pup moved in when a coal truck drove up, ready to pour coal into the cellar. <laughs> now, in this upside down house, the cellar was where the roof should be. And that's where the truck dumped its coal. Huh? And down came the coal, right through the house, dumped it all over Mary Pup. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mary Pup was very annoyed, and she decided to write the good fairy a letter. Yes, sir, Rudy, she was going to write a letter to the good fairy. But when she dipped the pen into an inkwell, she found that it was impossible to write a letter. Because <laughs> all the inkwells in that upside-down house were filled with tomato soup. <laughs> and then she realized why the good fairy gave her the house in the first place. That upside-down house taught Mary Pup a lesson, because it did all the things to her that she had done to others. From then on, she behaved herself. When it was time to go to sleep, she went to bed. And when it was time to get up, she got up at once. Mary Pup was no longer a contrary pup. So, Poochie, the moral of the story is, if you're the kind that misbehaves, just stop and think it through. How would you feel if someone else would misbehave towards you? Say, what? 
train. What do you say again? A train. What do you say to that, Pooch? Right. I've been working on the railroad, that's right. And you're an official Rudy Kazooty whiz right now. And a feather in her cap, it's on. Your cap. See you later with surprises and surprises. And there's the fellow right there. Before we go on, listen. Here's how you could become eligible for the Galapucci claim. That's right. Well, you know, see, first of all, you must send in your two powerhouse wrappers and 15 cents in coin for Rudy's lucky spot. Right, you see, that's important because we use the very same wrappers to choose contestants and quiz Rudy partners. So, Rooters, when you send in for my lucky spot three, put your name and address on the back of each wrapper very neatly. Each week, Gucci chooses the neatest wrappers. If you live near the studio and your wrapper is chosen, you'll become a contestant. If you live far away, you become a quiz a Rudy partner and win prizes right at home. That's right. You see the way that works, Rudy, is when you send in rappers for the lucky spot ring, you get that ring for sure. And in addition, those rappers make you eligible for ooh, two real bikes and lots of wonderful things. You can't send in rappers for the quiz alone, you see. Those don't count. Only rappers sent in for the lucky ring are you, see, so you better do it today. <laughs> Oh, Paul, sure. How old the hell are you? Ten. Ten years old, but that, that pooch is really on the side. Oh, uh, Paul, your Chris Rudy partner is Tommy McNanny Jr. of Norfolk, Virginia. Want to wave at Tommy? Nice. Pooch, that up, boy. Oh, uh, you got a nurse's cap, Ruth. We have to, we, we want to put a nurse's cap on you for a very special reason. So that is, turn around and speak. Oh, that looks kind of sweet. Well, you see, the only reason we did that, we're playing a game like Let's Pretend. See, now, uh, now we're pretending now with you having that nurse's cap on, you are a very heroic nurse, you know, who helped save the lives of soldiers many years ago. And uh, her last name was the same as a certain bird, which is famous for its wonderful singing. Who would you be? I'm Gil. What do you do? Uh, what do you say, Booth? Right, absolutely right. Florence Nightingale. Now we can get rid of that hat, that nurse's hat, and you're an official Rudy Kazumi with us. And a feather in his cap, big time. Feather for your cap. See you later with surprises and surprises. Now there's a chap right there. What do you want to fight? What? Want to wrestle? Tiddly Winks? Tennis? Okay. What's, uh, what's your name? Mark Carroll. Mark? Yes. Yeah, how old are you, Mark? About 12. 12 years old. You happen to have a two. Oh, nurse. This is a nurse. Oh. <laughs> You shall never wear anything else. <laughs> He's a crazy one, isn't he? Mark? Uh, oh, your quiz, Rudy partner, is Vicki Ann Malsam of Des Moines. I would just say hello to Vicki to, uh, to Ann. That's right. You can't wait. You see that with a nurse's hat on. Oh, we got a picture puzzle in there. And uh, it's about a well-known proper of this one, particularly, Mark. It's, uh, see, right there we have a picture of a bird on a hand, you see. Then we have some more birds down there. And, and if you put them all together, it gives you a real well-known saying. What would that be, Mark? A bird the hand is worth two in the bush. Well, what do you say to that? Right. Absolutely right. And you're an official Rudy Kazooty quiz yourself. I have a feather in his cap. That's a feather in your cap. See you later with surprises and surprises. And a great big root and kazoot and cheer for all of those Rudy Kazooty quizzes. <laughs> What are you doing, sugar? Oh, I just washed all my polka dotted clothes, and I want to hang them up to dry. So will you help me, please? Polka dotty, I don't think it's a very good idea hanging up things to dry here. Well, what's wrong with here? Look, this Mr. Deedle Doodle should walk in. Oh, Dr. Rudy. What's like Papa Rudy's when you say Mr. Deedle Doodle, he walks in. Look at that, he brought the rain. He's acting like a reindeer and bringing the rain. Oh, my clothes that I hung up to dry, they're getting soaked. I'd better get them out of here. Goodbye.
He has saluted out of Mr. Needle Doodle has been wearing his lucky spot ring like we are. Zulak couldn't have talked to uh, talked him into anything. That's right. Oh, well, I know. Yes, Rudy. Rudy, who are you? <laughs> well, now, boy, you you plainly see, I am an umbrella here to protect you against the rain. Well, that's very nice of you, Mr. Umbrella. Yes, the only thing is, I'm a busted down umbrella. Oh. <laughs> I need fixing. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> if you can only loan me your magic kazooie. My magic kazooie? Say, can't you? Know I lend this umbrella my magic kazooie? Well, uh, uh, if he used it, you know, he could blow it there, and he, he could fix himself up no two ways. Why, yes, sir, you are so right, lad. Yes, uh, <laughs> then Mr. Needle could bring all the rain he likes. <laughs> You'd be well, safe and dry. Say, Big Shot, are you sure he's really an umbrella? Well, he looks like a lot of broken-down umbrellas I've seen in the past. Sure, I think you could loan him your kazooie roof. Okay, Uncle Rudy, I'll go. Sure. Yes, Uncle Rudy, boy, I'm getting this for you, Mr. Umbrella. Don't worry about it. Here it is. It's a very valuable kazooie. Now, make you talk, Uncle Rudy. That sounded like an airplane roof. Yes, Uncle Rudy. Right hey, look up there. Big out of parachute. Wow. Oh, it's a kazooie for you. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see. Who's this from? It's from a loyal rooter and official member of the Rudy Kazooie Club.
rocket station. Los Angeles, California. You'll get my lucky ring for sure. And maybe you'll also win a two-wheel bike. <laughs>